Hello, I am here in Broadcast Depot. My name is Marco. I'm from Axel Technology. Today I'd like to talk to you about our automation product. It's called XTV. And actually it's a suite of softwares uh, allowing you to go on air 24-7 with your TV station or your web TV station. First of all, I have a Windows computer here. Um, inside the computer there's a Blackmagic video card. It's actually a multi-channel uh, video card. Why? The XTV is intended to go on air for only one TV station, one channel, but it's actually a video server which gives you um, uh, many inputs and outputs in order to you know, get the most of your uh, workflow. So, of course, the most important application that we have in our suite is the playout. Uh, creating a playlist is very, very simple. You just select a bunch of uh, video files that I have in my hard disk, but also you can keep your files on your NAS, and you edit it to the timeline, and you just press the play button. It's coming, and I'm going on it. So there it is. The interesting thing is that the XTV supports uh, many output resolutions. So you can work in SD, HD, 2K or 4K according to the video card that you have inside. And uh, you can put on top of your playlist any type of uh, video file. We support virtually any file format from simple file formats like MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4 up to very professional ones like MXF, XDCAM, uh, DNxHD from Avid or P2 from Panasonic. The file is automatically upscaled and downscaled and you can choose whether to preserve the aspect ratio, so with letterbox or without letterbox. Of course, you can interact with the playout and force a 4x3 like now, actually crop the image as much as you want, so zoom in and zoom out and tell the system how you want it, so without a letterbox, with a letterbox or just stretched out. On top of the playlist, not only files are supported, but also uh, URLs, which is kind of interesting. So just type in the URL that you want to play out. So I have one here. And let me press the OK button and just simply prepare it. It's ready. So now I'm actually playing out a file which is streaming from the Internet. And we support UDP, RTMP, RTP, uh, HTTP, uh, all any, any IP streaming format. NDI in input and output is also supported, so there's a lot of IP technology built in uh, if you are working in a LAN environment and you want to pass low delay, high quality video around your LAN network. Uh, it's a true automation, so it actually um, remote controls external devices. Uh, the most important ones, I'm not going to talk here to you about uh, the cart machines or the VCR, but of course the routing switcher, yes. You can remote control an external routing switcher, a master control, like a Blackmagic Atom, a Blackmagic Video Hub, a TriCaster, or any routing switcher which has a RS-232 or a RS-422 port and simply insert a live event into your um, timeline, into your playlist, and this will allow the system, and whenever the live event should go on air, the system will automatically send the command through the serial port or through the LAN in order to put that live event directly on air. This is more the traditional way of managing your live events in your playlist. There's also a more modern way, which is using the capture card inside the computer and actually feeding a SDI input or an HDMI input to that card and actually the, the audio and video is bypassed through the automation. So in your live event what you do is you just select your line and you have the possibility of selecting any audio video input device. In this case I have a Blackmagic card but we also support any model from Blackmagic but also Asia and also others 
This is an interesting feature. You can enable the recording for that specific live events and the system will keep the recordings for a predetermined amount of time and you can actually insert a delay in order to uh, get a, like a time shifting effect of your live events and this is particularly useful when you have several time zones in your country and you need to the delay the live event coming in. So the system can be used also as an advertisement interruption system and you can get your live event in and just air the advertisement directly with the play out. Uh, not only as the eye out uh, and, and the eye out, but also IP streaming out. So I have a section where my play out can actually be streamed. And this is interesting for web TVs or if you want to go on your Facebook Live or YouTube Live or anything. I just want to show you that I have um, an encoder. So in the encoder you select your format, which can be RTMP or UDP or other formats. In this case I'm using the NVIDIA GTX encoder built into the system. So this is a kind of a nice feature. We use the GPU to do H.264 or H.265 and what I'm doing is I'm encoding directly on, on the network. Uh, inside the system there's a very nice CG uh, character generator and graphics inserter so we can use that for example to air very fast uh, messages to the to the public so right now I have a, a label a live event label with an animation running a clock and a fast text these are for fast messages of course you can use it to generate the logo of your station and as you see we have animations there uh, but you can also use it to air very complex layouts and I want to show you from a file so I'm going to select right now a file which is maybe this one over here and just put it on air and you can get the idea that your templates can be quite nice. So I have tickers, rows and crawls running in there. Look at the bottom crawl, I have a like a small any world uh, running, uh, twirling around. That's kind of a feature of a very, let's say, high-end graphic system, the ability to have animations directly in your tickers, uh, in your crawls. How is this created? Well, part of the suite, I'm showing you the playout. Here on the desktop, you can see all the applications which are part of the suite and you get with the product. We also give you what is called the CG Composer. Let me pull it out, there it is. So the CG Composer allows you to create these templates and it's a free software. So you can give it to your graphics guy, he likes to work on his own computer at home at night, he will create all your graphic templates and actually uh, give you the opportunity to create them. So let's edit one of these, I'm going to click on the edit button. It's going to fire up my CG Composer on my other screen and I want to show you that I can actually modify the template and when I save the file I'll get the modification directly on air as if it were a real, let's say, on-air real-time CG system. So this is my template which is loading. Let me get out the background which in this case I'm not using and I'm moving around my DLG Plus logo and my CG Live logo, which are Excel text uh, software for CG, move them around, scale them up. When I hit the save button, actually on air, I'll get my modifications right on air. So it's kind of almost like having a real-time character generator built in. Then I'm going to show you one of the nicest options, which are the squeeze backs. So let me take the CG out, just not to get mixed up with too many items on air. And I'm going to write down some news, so Broadcast Depot, let me write it better, Broadcast Depot Data 2 Presentation, Presentation, here we are. So when I put the squeeze back on, this is the nice effect, it's very smooth, it's very nice. And as you see, I have a background animation and I'm actually inserting dynamic data in order to get. And your, play out, your playlist will actually continue 
inside the, the squeeze back effect, the picture in picture effect. Let me give you some other examples of what you can do. So let me go like this. Okay. Okay. So let me show you another squeeze back. So see, you can have a squeeze back with uh, declaring what you're playing at the moment. Or another typical squeeze back use is to tell you what will be the next program on there. So if I put my metadata here, movie, modern, okay, playing now. Just some text there. Okay, and you can see that the text will actually go on there exactly as you want it. Very good. I'd like now to show you the rest of the suite, which is kind of interesting. And it's made out of, out of a bunch of softwares, which will actually help you in order to manage the work for, of your automation. Well, of course, we have an ingest software. This is particularly useful if you are doing a live program and you want to capture the live program to disk uh, to actually rerun uh, re it later. So the X ingest will actually very, very easy to use. You select your format and it goes from Apple ProRes to DNX. HD to DVC Pro or MPEG-4, let's say, and also here you can use the GPU to capture an H.264 or H.265, you just press the record button and the system starts the recording. And then you can just drag and drop that file onto your playlist or edit it with the trimmer, and we'll see that right now. The trimmer is probably one of the most important software of the suite, and I'll explain you why. First of all, the trimmer uh, allows you to mark in and mark out your files and actually select the segment and the portion of the file that you want on air. So you load the file and another interesting thing is that the output of the trimmer actually goes on a SDI output. So if you have an HDMI monitor or a high quality monitor, what you're seeing is, is actually the same quality high definition that is actually going on air. And that's very interesting. So so you can use it as a quality monitoring. And of course, you can mark in and mark out your segments. You can actually subclip the, the, the file, and so this will create a second event or more events that you can then trim. And this is very useful if you want to have a movie and you want to divide it into segments in order to interrupt it maybe for your advertisement. The interesting thing is the same corrections that we've seen before. So aspect ratio correction, let me put a, a 4 by 3 and then you can crop in and out and decide how much letterbox. You can make field corrections, so invert the fields in case it's not fluid and you have inverted fields errors. But most of all you can can actually higher and lower the volume and whatever volume you choose that same volume will be respected when you go on air. There's actually a, a volume um, an audio channel remapper. So if you have multiple language, you can actually remap the channels as you want. But there's actually a loudness calculator. That's kind of interesting. It calculates the correct volume according to the law, the loudness law. And you can choose the actually law you want to use, which is R128 for Europe or A slash 85 for Northern America. Once you've done this, actually I'm going to save the file and I want to show you that if I clear my playlist and put the same file actually on air, you'll actually find both subclips that I've already created and when I play on air, they will go with the volume and the aspect of the video that you've chosen ahead of time. So the X trimmer actually is a quality control uh, software which allows you to define before going on air all the features of your movie, of your video file in order to reproduce them directly. One more thing, just for the secondary events, of course I can choose and assign to my clip any graphical file. So I'm going to do that right now. I need desktop, links, 
I'm just going to choose a simple graphics for the moment, like this one over here, and you get a preview of the graphics that you will have on air. So this means that if I stop, I clear, and I put it back on, yes, and I put it back on, and I enable the automatic CG in squeeze back. When I go on air, the system will actually air the CG I've determined, I've chosen as a secondary event connected to that specific video clip. Last software that I want to show you is the scheduler. So the scheduler is actually also free of charge and it allows you, you can install it on any network computer and it allows you to create your playlist offline um, in, 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 that then you can put on air later. So it's very easy to use. Let me go in my media. Let me put some clips on top like this so you can start creating your playlist, put that one on air, then maybe this one on air, and this maybe this one on air, and you start creating a playlist. And one interesting feature that I want to show you, that also in the scheduler, if you activate the player and you have an HDMI card or an SDI card inside, you can play out to an actually broadcast video signal, and from the scheduler, you're actually able to see how exactly the clip will be aired. So you can check the quality and the content on the fly, also with graphical events. Some uh, few words regarding the other applications that we have in the system. We have an application which copies networked files to your local disk in case of network failure. We have an emergency software which allows you to use a spare machine for your multi-channel playout. We have softwares to manage your routing switcher in order to share a routing switcher among multiple channel playouts. A software which allows you to manage the TV station as a musical TV station. So, so you can uh, create a set of rules according to the day and the time and the system will uh, randomly shuffle according to these rules and create a musical schedule, a logs viewer and so forth. So the suite is actually a collection of, of uh, many tools which cover every aspect of the, the playout. One of the main features of the playout is that it's very, very reliable, rugged. I think it's uh, on the market more for 15 years now, but despite the, let's say, the age, it's actually one of the most modern playouts on the market with a lot of IP features and file compatibility, streaming built inside, a great CG and squeeze back, which is something uh, very, very, with that we're very proud of. So in spite of this, it actually gives you the possibility to manage all the workflow of the TV station in a very, very simple manner. Thank you very much.